Hello, hello, Earthly Virgos. How are you doing today? Today is what? Wednesday? Yep, Wednesday. Happy hump day, y'all. I hope that you had a good day today. We're going to get started on your reading. I've already prayed over your reading like I do every day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to like. Okay? What messages do we have for you? If you all are interested, I have a, I said before on some other readings, I have a sale going on uh, from last Saturday up until uh, this Saturday coming up uh, at 12 noon. That's when the sale cuts off. It's a 15 minute, I'm sorry, a $15, 20 minute read for you. All right. Usually my prices vary. All right. $15, 20 minutes on whatever subject that is within reason. Okay. Contact me for a reading, no matter how you do it. Make sure you email me after your payment. That information can be found in the community section. I'm going to also post it in the comments section. I forgot to post it last night, I think, in the comments, but I'll put it in this one, okay, for you all to reach me. Those of you who continue to wait for your readings, you will get them as soon as I can get them to you, all right? We have the Fool, the Chariot. It's like you are finally moving on. It's like you're daring you're, you're finally daring yourself to take this chance. You know, like they say, they double, people say they double dog dare you. Okay. It's like you are finally taking a chance that you never thought you would into new horizons, into something brand new. Okay. It's like you finally come to a decision. You've made that decision. You've made that decision and you're sticking to it. Hmm. I also see some, 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 furniture moving like you know that bumping you know when you when you you know getting you a little bit i see some of that okay that's the first thing i saw actually when i saw the food court i see <laughs> Woo, baby okay Woo. yeah this 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 I think it's stuttering so uh although we know with this food court is a new beginning uh it's it's a chance that you're taking on a new direction in your life, a new journey. Um, possibly you may be going into this new journey blinded or blindsided by something, but you're doing it. Okay. You're finally um, letting it all hang out, Virgo, per se, you know, and you're moving on. Okay. You're moving on. You know, it's, it's like, I'm finally ready. I'm finally going to celebrate. I'm going to just throw caution to the wind and just do what I do best move forward, all right, to this new journey, to this new uh, adventure in my life, all right, um, <clears throat> but I do see some booty rubbing, <laughs> oh my God, okay, it's, 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 an, it's an energy, I guess, because um, I got, I got the food card, and I got the two of cups, but honestly, like I say, when you read cards, you, you pick up on certain things, and that's what you say, that's what you say, what you see, and what you sense. So what I see here is the, the, the phallus, you know, somebody's phallus in their hand and, and, and you know, um, yeah, some furniture moving, some, some, <laughs> some furniture polish and po some furniture polish. You get what I'm saying? You get what I mean when I'm saying polish, polish it, polish it, polish it. Okay. Uh, and this man, whoever you're, you're, you're connecting with someone here, um, in, in an intimate way. All right. In, in a in a real real romantic well intimate however it is for you you know and I see the legs parting and and you know you get it you know you see what you see I know what the hell I'm looking at but anyway <laughs> but I definitely see some entryway here for for some some sexual pleasure okay mm -hmm. but anyway let's move on let's move on um, this is a new journey, a new opportunity for you to, you know, it's like you're finally spreading your wings and you're flying. You are throwing caution to the wind. You're not letting anything stop you. And you're finally found that inner strength to move forward to, to because I think that a, a huge part of you has changed these, these last couple of years. And you know that there's some change. Some, some There needs to be some change in your life. Hold on. So you know that, that there needs to be some major changes in your life. I just saw 444. Um, there needs to be some change. And you're going to create that change for yourself, though. Okay. I think that when you get to your new journey, wherever that is, that's when you're going to open yourself up to joy, 
to 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 pleasure, to uh, being in a relationship. And some of you maybe not even being in a relationship, just feeling free to be who you are, a grown Virgo out there getting what you want. OK, and that's going to, you know, pleasing. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and this is something that a decision that you had to make for yourself, you know, to find balance in your life, to, to even the score with yourself. You've been through a lot of rough things in your life. And sometimes you just need a little belly rub, Virgo, you know, you just do. You just need a little tender, loving care. OK, you just need somebody to tickle those feathers. <laughs> But I, I just think that aside from that issue, I definitely see you moving forward here. All right. I do. Um, I feel like you're at a point to where you've been through a lot. There's probably some wisdom that you're getting, some energy you're getting from your higher self. OK, it's time to move forward. Okay, it's time for you to let go of what no longer serves you. This is a rebirth for you. Uh, you've done everything you needed to do. You've done a lot of reflecting and a lot of, of sitting down and not moving forward, refusing and not moving forward. Now is the time for the wheels to start turning again in your life. Let's roll. Let's go. Okay. So the wheels are turning in your favor. Okay. And it's going to be such a beautiful thing. Since I saw 444, I'm going to pull an angel number card. I'm going to pull 444 actually since I saw that. Maybe um, some of you I have been seeing fours a lot. So I want to read what the angel card says for you. Get 444 for the earthlies, please. All right, towards the end. You always second from the back, but right now you're getting ready to come up to the motherfucking front, Virgo. 444, I am protected. Mm -hmm. Trust your journey. Trust the way your life unfolds and trust that you are where you need to be at the present moment. I am protected. Trust your journey. Trust your journey because wherever it is, you're protected. No matter what you're doing, no matter what it is, what happens when you get there, you're definitely trusted. I'm sorry, you're definitely protected. Okay, why did I say trusted? You're definitely. I'm thinking you need to trust this journey. Okay, because it's definitely a movement forward to you for you, but it's not going to be a bad thing for you, and that's that's what you got to realize and understand. You're definitely going to be celebrated. You're celebrating for yourself. You're you're being celebrated by others, but Spirit wants you to celebrate too, though. Don't don't hold back on the accolades for yourself. All right. Let's clarify the fool for Virgo on their new path, their new journey. They're starting over from scratch, from zero and beyond. All right. I think you felt. You know, maybe I, I, this journey is something that I maybe I can't do this. You know, maybe I'm just I'm on the outside of looking. I'm going to always be on the outside looking in. I'm never, ever going to be where I need to be. Yes, you will. If you just move, if you just start the process, you will. You've been so indecisive about this for the longest and you've been you've reached a stalemate in your life where nothing's going to change unless you move forward, unless you do something to, to cajole yourself to move forward. That's when things start happening for you. OK, we have hit the nine of pentacles. But in the process, I really do think that if you with you not even paying attention to it, there is somebody out here for you. You know, but there's a lot of different things in your life that you're manifesting right now. Even without doing anything, you know that your vision is out there. Your vision is clear. There's something outside of your current situation that you want to be in, where you want to be at. And when you, how are you going to get that by moving forward? OK, and this is something that you've always wanted. You'll be able to relax more. You'll be able to have all of those material possessions that you don't have in your life right now or have too little of. OK, this is an opportunity for you to recognize who you are in the best way possible by moving forward. OK, by totally letting things go in your life. And it's not even about letting go, because once you move forward, those things are going to fall away anyway. So don't worry about what you're leaving behind or who you're leaving behind. You got to do what's best for Earthly. All right. What's coming up for Virgo on their new journey? <laughs> See, we got the two of uh, swords yet again. Okay, so what's coming up on your new journey here? Okay. <laughs> what's coming up on your new journey, Earthlies?
I'm hearing to stop taking in strays. I don't know who that's for. Maybe you're taking in stray cats or stray animals or something that might become a problem if you don't stop it before it gets started. Okay. Not saying you can't, but just be careful. Don't be don't become a hoarder. Okay. When you're helping animals. So you tend to hold on to stuff a little bit too too tight. Some of them you may need to let go of if you realize like that it out. Too many cats or too many dogs or, or you're you're res you're rescuing so many animals or rescuing people. Stop rescuing people, you know. It's just gonna cause a bunch of chaos and confusion. If you don't stop rescuing people or animals, it's just gonna call and it's gonna cause chaos in your life. It's gonna cause a bunch of uh, headaches in your life. And I'm saying don't do it. I'm not saying not to help people, but know your limits. Okay, know your limits. Okay, Virgo. What's happening on Virgo's new journey? Oh, the Ace of Cups. So, yeah, I think that you're definitely being handed something brand new, a new start. Okay. I mean, I just think wherever it is you're going in your life, whatever journey you're you're you are about to partake in, there are some things you're gonna have to leave behind. But I kind of honestly feel like this is your energy here. You felt alone for such a long time. You felt like you had some sort of, of handicap by, by maybe not having enough income, not having a, a significant other with you. You have to do everything on your own. I think wherever it is you're going to go, yeah, you're going to drop some things. Things are going to fall off. But that's because this is your rebirth period. This is a chance for you to turn into a beautiful lotus blossom. And everything is going to fall into place. It's like spirit is handing you a brand new life a brand new life, a do over again. All that stuff you were struggling with, all the things you said that you couldn't do, all the things that, that were frustrating you, you're going to be, have some frustrations. That's just life. But spirit is going to get you through this. Spirit is going to say, you know what? Let's, let's, let's do this for Virgo. Virgo deserves some happiness. Virgo deserves some peace. Virgo d deserves to be in a committed relationship. Okay. Virgo deserves for everything in their life to be fulfilled for them. Okay. So just be open to it. But yeah, uh, I think if you have a lot of, of people around you, a lot of people in your pocket or uh, people or animals that you're depending on, if you're trying to relocate, you may not be able to take all of those animals with you. You're so focused on things that have taken place in your life. And you tend to think a lot about the failures, about, and so you've always been ready. You, your bags have always been packed mentally, okay, and emotionally. You've held on to a lot of baggage, like, like, what's her name? Erica Badu bag lady, you gonna hurt your back? Yeah, you gonna hurt your back. You gotta let some of that stuff go. You got so much stuff that you're holding on to. I don't care if it's animals, I don't care if it's people, I don't care if it is uh, emotional abuse, you know, childhood trauma, whatever it is, you holding on to too much baggage. Let a little go each and every day because it's going to lighten the load so you can put more good things, more precious things, more proper things, more enlightened things, more gifted things in that bag that you have there, Virgo. You got so much more to be to be thankful for in your life. You have so many other things you not only put in the bag, but you can put into that cup. So we're just telling you, I'm emptying out the cup, but you keep filling it back up. The quicker I empty your cup, the quicker you feel your negativities back up. I went through this. He did this. She did that. I lost this. I held, you know, it's like as soon as spirit gets to the point to where, or you get to that point to where you're releasing things, you put them right back in, you pick it right back up and there goes a feel back, filled up bag again. Cause you, you're, it's hard for you to release what no longer serves you because you're so used to that energy. Okay. Let it go. I think Frozen. Frozen has that song, Let It Go. Huh. Let it go. Because sometimes you're self-sabotaging yourself by holding on to something that you have clearly let go of, but you keep picking it back up out because you're out of comfort because the fear of, of what's on the other side. What? What happens if you get on the other side and everything turns out okay, then what? But you are so comfortable being in pain. You are so comfortable holding on to what happened to you yesterday when you were a child, what your parents did to you. But Spirit is telling you, I got you a brand new leaf right here. You get a little bit of it, but all of a sudden, here you go, you drop back down again. And you put the bag back down and you just sit there. So you got to find a way to move beyond this pain if you can. If you can't move beyond it, Virgo, walk right through the pain. Okay, just walk right through it. If you can't let it go, walk right through it and deal with it on the other side. Okay, what's that song I'm hearing? Hold on. 
Oh, I can't think of it. It's a um, Carly Simon song, something about pain. I'll put it in the comments for you. Yeah. You got to let that, you got to drop that bag. You got to empty the bag, okay? So all of that heartache and pain could fall out so spirit can fill it up with something brand new and something much, much more lighter, all right? Virgo's new journey. Yeah, you've been dealt some some nasty some nasty stuff in your life. You've been dealt some uh, heartache and pain and torture. Okay, uh, you've been dealt some really nasty cards in your life, but you've been able to survive that. Okay, we got the six of swords and the two of pentacles. I think that when you the reason why you're still stuck at some point at this point is that you're afraid of what's going to happen when you get to the other side. What's going to happen? You may see the shore, but you're you're not actively on the, the shore. So when you get to the shore, what's going to happen? You don't know. And it's just leaving you worried about what the outcome will be. Stop worrying about the outcome. No, outcome is going to take care of itself. But you've been been tortured. You've been given so much to yourself. And the same people that you give to, they constantly give to others and they don't get to and they don't give to you. And you're like, well, what about me? Let it go. Let it go. Worry about yourself. You can't worry about them. You may be going into the next half of your life empty handed. So be it. Spirit has something so much better for you. OK, there may be something going on with you. Um, there may be some hurt there, but you're walking away from what no longer serves you right into your highest level of strength. OK, walking into Virgo, your highest level of strength is when you walk away from what no longer serves you and you don't feel guilty about doing it. Hmm. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Virgo, you got it. You got the you got the you got the right formula. You really, really do. You should be proud of yourself. In order for you to succeed on this journey, what do you need to release? Virgo, in order for you to succeed on your new journey, what is it that you need to release, let go of, and surrender to? What else? What do you need to surrender to? Setting limits. Setting limits. It is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. No is a complete sentence. And listen, surrender to, to low self-esteem. You deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. And finally, we're going to say surrender the worry. Okay. Make a commitment not to lead an anxiety driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. Spirit is guiding you in a new direction uh, with a new address, a brand new mailbox, a new car, a new love life, whatever it is you're seeking, you're finally going to open up and be ready to receive it, Virgo. Literally, you're going to open up and be ready to receive. <laughs> Talk to you later.